India's dream of building its own fighter jet engine has always been a matter of pride and pain. For decades, the Kaveri engine project struggled, faced setbacks and was nearly abandoned. But today, this forgotten engine is making a stunning comeback. Can the Kaveri finally power India's fighter jets and even future stealth aircraft? Let's find out. In the late 1980s, India launched the ambitious Kaveri engine program under the Gas Turbine Research Establishment GTRE. The goal was simple but bold. Build a fully indigenous jet engine that could power the light combat aircraft Tejas. If successful, India would join an elite club of nations capable of designing and manufacturing jet engines. But reality was harsh. Developing a fighter jet engine is one of the most complex engineering tasks in the world. Even advanced nations like Japan and South Korea struggled. India was no exception. The Kaveri engine faced countless challenges, from material technology to turbine blade design. The engine could generate around 76 kyles of thrust with afterburner, but this was not enough for the Tejas fighter jet. Reliability issues, overheating problems, and repeated delays plagued the program. By 2014, after spending nearly 1,000 crores, the Kaveri was declared unfit for fighter jets. Instead, Tejas had to rely on the imported American GE F404 engines. But India did not give up. With the rise of Atmanirbhar Bharat, DRDO revived the Kaveri program with fresh energy. Francis Safran, the maker of Rafale's engines, offered to help fix the flaws in Kaveri. This Indo-French partnership is now working on making Kaveri flight-worthy again. The upgraded Kaveri is expected to power future Indian drones like the Gatak Stealth UKF and possibly the AMCA 5th generation fighter jet. Imagine, an engine that once symbolized failure could now become the beating heart of India's next-gen air power. If successful, the Kaveri comeback will reduce India's dependence on foreign engines. More importantly, it will McKins. It will make India self-reliant in one of the hardest defense technologies. DRDO is also working on 110KN engines for AMCA, which could rival America's F-35 engines and Russia's Su-57 engines. The journey of Kaveri tells us one thing. Failure is not the end, but the first step towards success. India's engine dream may have been delayed, but it was never destroyed. So will the Kaveri engine finally take flight and power India's fighter jets? The answer lies in the years ahead. But one thing is clear. India is no longer just a buyer of technology. We are creators, innovators and dreamers who turn failures into fuel for future glory. The story of the Kaveri engine is not just about metal, fire and thrust. It is about India's determination to stand on its own feet, to create world-class technology despite challenges and failures. Every setback is a lesson and every revival is a new hope. If the Kaveri truly makes a comeback, it will not just power our fighter jets, it will power the dream of an Atmanirbhar Bharat in defense. What do you think? Will Kaveri finally roar in the skies? Tell us in the comments below. And if you found this story inspiring, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more untold stories of India's strength and vision. Jai Hind!